Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Cobra Quick Bites and today we're going to be taking a look at another unique unit within Heroes and Generals. We're going to be taking a look at the Paratrooper and well I'll let the following pictures sum up how I feel about Paratroopers. And thanks for watching the video guys, until then, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Hi guys, and welcome back. Sorry about that video, I had to put it out, there's a little troll for you guys, but here we go. The real guide, here it is guys, the real guide to uh, paratroopers here in Heroes and Generals. First things first, what makes a paratrooper unique? Well, how about the fact that you can spawn anywhere in the map, period. That's pretty much what a paratrooper can do. How? It's plain. Now, notice there is no vehicles for the uh, paratrooper to take a look at, simply because it's basically, uh, well, that's it. You can't modify the plane. So that's why they said, nope, you can't even look at the damn thing. Well, anyway, it's the, uh, for the Americans, it's the Skytrain. For the Soviets, it's the Langley Skytrain. And for the uh, Germans, I believe it is the Junkers, I want to say the Junker G80? Question mark. I, 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 you'll find that more on the Wikipedia page. But anyway, guys, um, what makes the uh, uh, what makes this unit stand out? What makes you want to play a paratrooper? Well, first things first. I'm going to point out the the, the 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 strengths of the unit, and then I'll point out the cons. Strengths, uh, like I said, you can spawn anywhere you want. Plus, you get a unique weapon that no one else within Heroes in General gets a hold of. That is the light machine gun, the Felschrum Jäger. I'll take that. Try that again. The Felschrum Jäger Gewehr 42 or the MG 42. Uh, basically, this is literally just an MG 42 that has been cut down and turned into a uh, compressed ball pop, if you will. Uh, a ball pop configured, configured gun is the action. And the uh, the action and everything is, uh, and the, the loading mechanism and everything else is behind the trigger. Therefore, this is in theory the very first, uh, as far as I know, uh, World War II uh, uh, ball pop. Um, the M Enfield uh, uh, E85 is a ball pop. The um, the uh, um, <laughs> I just had the gun in my head, the picture of it. The um, the FAMAS, there we go, the FAMAS is a ball pop. Um, but yeah, this is, in theory, the very first World War II ball pop, and it is the Falscom Gewehr 42, i.e. the Paratrooper MG42. has a 20-run box mag, um, and can be modified in a whole stoop of ways. Unfortunately, I don't have it unlocked yet, uh, simply because you need uh, to be parachute level 9, uh, you get that through jumping out of the plane, so literally you really don't need the boost of this ribbon, you will get it literally in a couple of, I, I would say a solid three, four days gaming of just solid paratrooper. And you will get the the, the, the gun unlocked. It's that easy. Uh, what else does the, the is he, does he get? He does get semi-automatics, but no bolt action. Uh, notice he does not get a bolt action. He does get the Gewehr 43, the, uh, of course, the, the Mauser C96, the FG42, the MP40, the P08 Parallelum, and the P38. So, you could decide to go with a pistol build, uh, which means you'll have uh, four points left over for, say, anti-tank. That might be a possibility. Uh, also, you could probably uh, sneak in a grenade or two into that build. Uh, however, that is something I just haven't chosen. Uh, talk about badges. Uh, again, because I literally have just started the soldier, I really don't have much in the way of badges for him. I went with a fast reload simply because I'm taking the uh, MG34. And I went with the ubiquitous power training. Uh, sorry, free fall. Basically, what this means is you can pull your shoot at any time. You don't immediately pull it when you jump out the plane, so enemy fighter pilots can scrape you or shoot you down or whatever. Literally, you can literally get within maybe five feet of the ground and hit, tap your space bar, do the whole battlefield three thing, and pull out your shoot. Um, that's what I use it for. Is simply because I just want to get in uh, stealthy wise. I am actually uh, uh, wanting to work on my nimble. As you can see, I do have nimble silver. I am thinking about replacing my fast reload with nimble, and actually going with a melee weapon. Uh, going with a, uh, a full-on melee build, just for the whole shits and giggles sort of thing. You know, to see what sort of mischief you can get. And that's the idea of a paratrooper. A paratrooper is meant to get 
to uh, 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 the forward position and, and stop the push going down the A line, the B line, the C line, the D line, the E line. Uh, uh, have you ever noticed there's always a large gap between uh, um, uh, uh, number three and number four on all the maps, whether it be uh, Echo 3, Echo 4, Alpha 3, Alpha 4, there's always a huge gap between the two. And most paratroopers will land at Echo 3 to stop the push past Echo 3, or even some even more crazier paratroopers I've, I've met we actually land at Echo 4, fight it out at Echo 4 to try and slow them down, knowing that they're not going to get a deploy queue issue because, well, they can spawn wherever the hell they want. Why? Right? Because they're a paratrooper. So, with that in mind, I've decided to go with the free fall badge and the fast reload. I might swap that out for the nimble, just just for giggles. Um, you know, and, and grab that, grab that, and, and let's see... Uh, also, he cannot take a wrench, as you can see. They cannot take a wrench. Uh, I could slip in a pistol, but I'm just not going to drop the credits for it right now. I'm, I'm currently saving up to uh, buy a, a, uh, a light tank. But uh, like I said, guys, builds-wise, you can uh, asking me for a specific build class for a power trooper is like asking someone how long is a piece of string or how straight is a ruler, um, simply because it depends on your play style. Um, I like to mess around uh, uh, with my builds. Uh, I like to experiment. I like to, to, to try new things. I like to mix it up uh, and various other things like that. But again, you know, guys, that's me. You're you. Do what's best for you. Do what you have fun with. And, and ultimately, that's what it's about. Just have fun. It's the idea of a video game, right? Um, now, the cons. Uh, con is... In a skirmish match, you are unparalleled. Most uh, uh, um, paratroopers will only, only, literally only go click skirmish. Why? Because there's only one map within the skirmish that has an AA gun. That's it. And it's village. There is an AA gun right outside O3. On the other two maps, both hill and forest, there is no AA guns. So literally, you're, it's going to cost you nothing. It, it does cost you nothing. There is no repair cost for using your plane as a paratrooper. There is none. Um, there is no, no counters to you unless someone spawns in a mobile AA vehicle, which really, wow, they spawn it in. It throws you off course, but if you're like me and you have your free fall badge, you can free fall close to the web, to the vehicle, take the vehicle, you know, kill the guy, take his vehicle, drive it near your spawn, you know, Tell the guys, hey, free AA vehicle here to shoot down their paraplane. So, like I said, uh, it, during skirmish matches, you're going to see para spam simply because there is no hard counters to paratroopers in skirmish. Uh, uh, same as certain assault maps. For example, factory, uh, 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 factory, forward airfield, and mountain town are para spam because there's really literally no counters to them, especially on factory. All there is is those two AA guns on the actual factory themselves. And they have such horrible firing arcs, they can't even get decent shots on the paraplanes themselves. So if the paratrooper knows what he's doing, he'll tell the pilot of the plane, I wanna jump here. So the plane's constantly flying roughly in that area. And he, he uses his free fall badge. He waits for the plane to get into an arc of a turn, jumps out, it catapults him even further, which you can do in the game, by the way. Um, catapults him even further, waits till he gets near the target he wants to land, press space bar, out comes his shoe. While the AA gun's trying to get a, a sight picture on where the, para, uh, where the paraplane is. So like I said, um, right now, to be really honest with you, there is no hard counter to paratroopers simply because also there's no badges that affect AA guns. There is no badge in the game that affects how much damage an AA gun can do. Yet there's badges that stops fighter pilots from taking additional damage. Again, like I said, I'll explain more about that in the fighter pilot review, uh, in, in the, the fighter pilot quickie. Anyway guys, this has been Deceptive. I hope you enjoyed the quickie uh, uh, video. If you did, please give the video a like, a, a comment, a favorite, a share. Do your fa do your thing. Hit that sub button. I greatly appreciate it. And I will look forward to seeing you when I go live here on YouTube Gaming. YouTube Gaming.com slash Deceptive Cobras. And don't forget, guys, hit that little cog 
right next to the sub button and yeah, get the extra notifications of when a new video goes live and of course when I go live on YouTube Gaming. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash deceptive cobras. Facebook, it's facebook.com slash groups slash cobra nation or just facebook.com slash deceptive cobras or you can follow me pretty much on YouTube here. I'm, I'm very social. I'm a very social guy. Until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Adios, muchachos.